Welcome back to the Rebirth. We're making progress on base repairs and upgrades, and with four forges running, we'll be swimming in steel in no time. So today, it's time to do some remodeling to the fighting area to prevent the failures that we observed during the last horde night. We also need to do some looting, and we're just a hair away from maxing out charisma. So a mixture of questing, mining, and free loot delivery will be in the cards for tomorrow. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. Okay, so we left off last time downstairs when I was making this new little balcony portion to the garage section, and this is what I finally came up with. I think it looks okay, and once we get it painted, it'll look even better. It looks a little bit out of place right now, but if we go up here, it gives us plenty of room to put all of our switches on. I could do a total of six switches, and I believe there is also room up here to put relays if I wanted to do that, and then we'll put the 3x3 roll-up door right here, and then it's just a matter of like figuring out where to put that spotlight there. Nothing's hooked up right now, so that's one of the priorities for this morning. Also, I want to do some construction. And also, I need to get first aid going again because I need Prussian blue and I need casts to go on the hot bar. And I think I left off making some, yeah, empty water jars there because we need the murky water to make the cast. And then I don't know what we need to make the Prussian blue, but probably a bunch of stuff that we don't have a lot of. Scratch that, we've got a whole bunch of it. Here, let's try to just get... Oh man, well I feel like <laughs> Prussian blue is probably more useful to me than coffee, so let's just go ahead and get all of it. And I'm imagining that's created over here with, yes, distilled water of course. Now where did I leave off on that chain of things? Okay, boiled water, cooking fat, calcium chloride, activated charcoal, there's a lot that goes into it here. Now I'm short on ground charcoal. Okay, that's gonna be a while, we're gonna need some murky water to get rolling on some more stuff here. And I wanna check on the garden, I can't remember quite where we left off, oh the helicopter is in my inventory. So I guess we're heading down here. Just come over here, slap that down, and we'll take a quick trip over to the other base. Now I can tell from here that uh, nothing's grown up. In fact, actually, I'll fill up the jars while I'm here, but I've heard you can also buy a sink from one of the traders. Let's see, we have 56 minutes left. So if we came back this time tomorrow, we should be okay to do a quick harvest. Wait, can I just take the sink with me? And it'll work at home. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> I might have just uh, skipped the step there. Yeah, because I have a land claim block down here. I'm not sure if that land claim is active, though. I thought it would have been broken, but no, it does look like it's working. Do I get the bounding zone? Yeah, the bounding zone is working. Maybe I had just am allowed to have more than one land claim block, and I, I didn't quite check on that setting. Whatever, we have a sink at hope now. All right, I'm going to head back to the base. I'll do a little bit of cooking and crafting and get things organized for today, and I'll catch up with you in an hour or two. Okay, so we're back, and I'm rolling on a whole bunch of stuff here. I did put down the sink, and it's not... It's not functioning as a sink like it used to. I had to run down there and get water out of the lake, but um, I just put down the land claim block, so I'm wondering if I, like, picked it up and put it back down again. Is that going to reset it, or do I actually really have to buy one? Yeah, this is not functioning as a regular sink. Huh, okay, so wait a minute. I'll put that away for a second and we'll check with the trader. Maybe there's a special like player sink that I do need to purchase. <laughs> Here I am thinking I'm so smart. I thought it was the handy woman trader that would sell something like that. Oh, she's selling solar cells and I do have a solar bank. It might be time to start thinking about hooking up some better power. Uh, was it the farmer guy that does it though? Yeah, here we go. Here's some sinks. Okay, they're pretty cheap. Do I need a... Like, okay, we got old sink. We've got regular sink. I don't see where there would be any distinction there between the one I picked up and that one, but... Could be wrong, I guess. Place that down and... Okay, that one works. Well, there we go. Well, now we got water in the base. That's handy. And I've got plaster casts going. Love it. Gonna need a lot of those. Like, you know, 30 or 40 probably should do us over for a week or two. Okay, <laughs> I got all four forges. I think all of them are working on molten steel right now and some on bulletproof glass as well. Oh, I did get this placed in last night, so that's finally all set. And I think I, I had um, 48 or 42 or something glass blocks, and so I've uh, tidied this place all up. And then I think this place is all done. And then I did a couple of windows down here, but we still have quite a bit of work to go. Yeah, and I'm pretty sold on this being the configuration that I want here. This is like, if you remember, if you're a fan, 
Hey, if you've been here since the Frostbite series, man, thank you so much for being here for a couple of years. Anyway, uh, this is the <laughs> the first time that I used this configuration was on the Frostbite series, having these little poles for light switches. Man, what a base that was. I wonder how the Frostbite base would hold up to <laughs> the Rebirth Horde. Uh, probably not very well, if I recall, because it was just like a long, skinny corridor. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be good. Okay, I got the door in as well, so slap that down, and yeah, the light's kind of in the way there. And this is our, yeah, the cell chest. So I'm saving the selling for a, a big sell-off. We can benefit from the pumpkin bread. Besides, we're really good on money right now. And speaking of money, I got all the, the mercenaries put back in here. They're not mercenaries. They're kind of mercenaries. They're, uh... You know, they're not really soldiers either, they're just companions, I guess. I've never really thought up a good name for these guys. But anyway, we need to send them out mining. Coal, coal. And before I send you out, Logan, I haven't checked anyone's qualifications in ages. Logan is now a level three. Her mining level is level one, even though I've been sending her out a lot, so that might be really slow. Like, I don't know if there's a cap or, you know, if, is it just like one, two, three, and like three is the max, so not sure. She's got 272 kills. Man, I wish I would have checked Dank before he disappeared and or got shot or whatever the hell happened to him. It could be a total mystery. He might have just, it might have just been a big excuse. He might have just run off with Endy and Dahl and, and run off with her at the end. We may never know. Ooh, look at the 762 that's been rolling in here. I think uh, we'll just continue rolling on it. Uh, if anything, just to get a stockpile. Man, 40 millimeter. Oh, that reminds me. I do, I do have... Uh, we're gonna re renovate this place today, but I think I'm gonna put everybody up here from now on because I was thinking during Horde Night, it's just, I'm babysitting those guys so much, like I have to heal them, they fall through the floor, I gotta go find them, you know, they're getting blown around and ragdolled and I just need to be the only one down there from now on. Everybody else can hang out up here. And how are we looking on steel? We have 853 there with 900 there, 900 there. 235 there. I say we're doing pretty damn good on the steel front. Oh, right. I should have, holy crap, we're doing really good on the concrete as well and topsoil. Look at that. The real question is going to be the explosive resistant concrete. We need 10 samples of explosive immune zombies. So, oh, what we could do, we could do another screamer battle. That should get us some explosive immune remains and it should help us top off on just like ammo and stuff. Um, I'm tempted. I'm very tempted to do that. Something to think about for maybe tomorrow then. But for now, I gotta get this place renovated. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna knock out every one of these trussing blocks here. These have got to go. The reason being is because the cops can see through them and spit through them. So we need something that cannot be seen or shot through, basically. Okay, that's it for the trussing blocks. I think that's our third or fourth screamer coming in right there. <laughs> Doesn't stand a chance. Okay, so now, here's what this is probably gonna look like. Let's just grab a square block and go like this and this. This is just replacing the trussing blocks we had before. And then, uh, yeah, I still, I think this is just too open. Like, this block here probably has to get knocked out. And then we've gotta put hatches in front of all of the doors. And like, I think also we have to set up a system where, where we can hatch off this middle portion too, just to further decrease the visibility. Uh, there's just a lot to grind through here, and this was all upgraded to steel. But you gotta do what you gotta do, so get grinding. Okay, definitely helps when you like knock out the correct block here. <laughs> Let's put this one back. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to... Okay, I'm pretty much... I'm committed to this right here. Let's just solidify these, and then... I think we also have to do block in the middle here. Yep, because that's gonna just reduce visibility a little bit. And with these down, that we're pretty shielded, but now we're super exposed on the bottom. And there's two things we can do. We can put a hatch in this block space here and kind of fold it forward. In fact, I'm kind of probably partial to that because what I also wanted to do is put um, make the floor out basically out of security gates because um what would happen is okay so we have the the v2 plates are on the bottom right we put those in yesterday i don't need to show you you remember that so uh and then there's the regular cubes on the top both of those will be steel and then if we additionally put security gates on the top if the bottom two blocks do get blown out by cop spit 
we can still stand on this because the cops won't be able to destroy these blocks with their spit. So I think that's the, the most prudent move to not like fall through the floor here is to just line the whole bottom with something that's bulletproof. Okay, so we're doing the same configuration on this side now, just narrowing things down. Missed a couple over here. Oh, hello. Do we have a wraith here somewhere? Holy crap, what is happening? I can hear wraith business. Help me out! I can also hear walking. Oh crap! Oh, there he is! Skeleton man snuck up on me on the ladder here. You dead? Here, no, you need to die. Get the hell out of here. Oh, he had a tier one skeleton warrior? What kind of crap is that? Get him out of here. I don't even want that guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello, Logan. Oh, man. I didn't realize that would work to just throw it out of my inventory like that. That's kind of funny. Speaking of Logan, I've been sending her and the other mercenaries out mining every time I see them come back. So we should have a big pile of resources here before nightfall. Okay, so these are set. Oh, hello there, Razzle. And Hobie should be coming in imminently along with Logan right behind. There he is. Okay, let's just check his inventory real fast. Yeah, lead, iron, coal, very good. And as long as I have the money, I'm gonna continue sending them out. So what does that put us short on anyway, in terms of ammo production? Cause that's mostly what I've been having them focus on. We are short on clay. Otherwise we're looking really good. Well, not so good on brass. And to get brass, we need to clear POIs. So that's probably on the to-do list. Okay, I'm not leaving though until I get this thing solidified in here. This is very, very important stuff. Okay, so I've decided against having these. And uh, right, so if we're gonna do a hatch, it's gonna be in this front plane here. And we could either fold it forward or fold it backward. It doesn't really matter. But I am gonna have to knock out that internal railing. Gonna need a few vault hatches. Okay, so just to simulate while those vault hatches are crafting, we'll have one there, although it's debatable whether I wanna have it like in this configuration here. Okay, and then we're also going to need to seal off these portions here. Now, we could use a door for that. Yeah, could use a door or could use hatches. Let's try the door. Okay, and we'll need something to attach the door to. So it might look a little funny at first at least, but what if there was like that? Or or we don't even have to do that. Um, hang on, give me a second to kind of sort this out. Right, it would just be like this here, and technically that's attaching to the top there, but it would kind of look like it was hinged to the sidewall there. So if I just place that in there, and of course this is a hatch on the bottom, then we could just kind of <laughs> close the doors off and like limit the visibility on the sides that we're not fighting on. And so, during Horde Night, I think what I would like to do, I'll try and start on foot again to initiate the Rampage, then we'll run back up in here. I think I'll use the side flank positions first. Um, I had a reason for that, and I forgot what it was, but um, but anyway, we'll, you know, we'll transfer from one side of the base to the other side of the base, and then we'll finish things off here in the middle. And then I also kind of had this thought of like, what if we cut this in half? So only one side was being like blasted by the Seekers at a time. I'm not sure if that would work or not. Oh, I think my reasoning for the starting on the flanks is that it, there's just such lower visibility than there is if we're fighting on the front here. So if we sealed all this off on the side and just had this little tunnel here, um, you know, I think we'd have pretty good chance of just not getting shot at too much by the cops. And then, yeah, I can put like uh, security gates all along the floor here. Yep, this entire floor could be... Oh, except for those stupid blocks right there. They're in the way. Those are gonna have to come off. No matter, it's just a little bit of cobblestone. Yeah, it's, um, it's gonna look a little funny there. It, it looks okay, it's fine. Okay, everybody, go back mining. What am I lowest on? Uh, soil of all things. Clay freaking soil. But, if I'm being honest, I have 36,000 coal, <laughs> holy crap. Yeah, so we need some nitrate to catch up with that, I think. I can do the soil myself, and I can do that a lot faster than they can. Okay, so yeah, first things first, we gotta get this upgraded to steel, because now 
it's um it's not going to be visible to us anymore once it's sandwiched from the bottom and from the top there's no more access to it uh we've got to paint this actually before we cover it up because i wouldn't be able to paint it otherwise and splash there we go okay we can cover this all up now all right just security gate plates all the way around okay there we go it's kind of cute it saved me a spot for where the companions will spawn back in all right i have no idea if this is going to work or not just this is this is gonna be what i'm putting my money on for horde night though okay we still have a couple of block spaces here that are not being utilized like these couple these couple um, I'm gonna just put a pin in that one though, and we'll decide on what to do with that a little bit later. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good for now about defenses, and I'm working on the other things that we're gonna need, like, uh, vault hatches. But, um, for now, I think I do want to do the screamer battle here at night. We'll just spend the whole night killing screamers and screamer zombies. I think I'll do it in one of the side windows here. I'll just let them crawl up and get killed. We'll collect up all the loot bags in the morning, and, oh man, who's destroying the ramp again? Yeah, the ramp, jeez, I don't, I don't like the ramp thing. See, I got this idea from Wayward Echo, and, uh, <laughs> it's failing me. Okay, but in order to do that, I need to get everything connected back up with the wire tool. Okay, I'm just crafting up a timer relay, and while I'm at it, I'm just gonna come down here, make sure these are upgraded, and then I'm gonna put the vault doors back in. Hinges up, always. There we go. Okay, and if that went to plan, I should be able to draw off of this to the timer relay and set the timer yep there we go there is light and we'll just run the lights until say 5 a.m from 8 to 5 okay looking much better around here these days <laughs> it took it only took four days can you imagine fighting the horde in like two and a half days man what a disaster that would turn out to be i mean i i would quite simply i would have to reduce it down to like you know 16 zombies or 32 zombies at least to 64 on horde night plus and turbo man it's uh, it's too much for an every seven day cycle at least for me looking pretty good in here too i like the the new design the new organization here okay there's a couple more things to get hooked up though like um doors and vault hatches and smg turrets and everything so i'm gonna work on that for a little bit and then we'll do the big screamer fight Okay, everything's hooked up. Doors are working, lights are working, turrets are working, except we don't have shotgun turrets down here anymore. And it's kind of up for debate whether I even want to put them back in. Um, because they're going to have a much more narrow and restricted field of fire. However, if, if zombies ever got in here, they might be a little bit helpful. I mean, we've carved out the holes for them. Might as well probably put them back in eventually. And then um, probably just... Uh, let me just check here and see if I have... Yeah, that block space behind them is is open, and so I should be able to squeak a hatch in over the top so that if anything did come flying through, it wouldn't, like, you know, hit the ammo workstation because we already lost that once already. Okay, a little bit of extra ammo there, and I think we're ready. Let's just get this place all buttoned up, best we can anyway. And we should be able to start them right here on this side. It shouldn't be too much of a to-do to fight the Screamer Horde. Um... And we'll just leave everyone up here to kind of kill zombies as they spawn and run around out there. All right, let's fire it up and <laughs> hope for the best, I guess. It's looking pretty good here. For once, I can actually have a, you know, something like a horde knight and use melee. Yep, just gonna try at this point to initiate a rampage. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I can see lots of heads popping, but nothing yet. There we go, got my rampage. See, this is just a perfect demonstration here of why I had to turn on Horde Knight Plus and Horde Knight Turbo, because this is just, um, I mean, even though they have special abilities, it's basically just a vanilla horde, and it's so easy. Give me five steel blocks and a steel vault hatch, and I can defeat pretty much any horde. Oh, goodness, there's a, definitely a Seeker here, though. I'm not sure, are Seekers part of, uh, these hordes now, or what? Okay, give me the AP. We're gonna need to let it rip here for a second. Yeah, good little proof of concept here on the base. Although, you know, I'm noticing my allies are not really shooting at all. Ah, uh, oh, whatever. I can handle this for now. You know, doing this is kind of making me think, like, what if we built some sort of a system down there on the causeway? Like, we put bars across it so that we could shoot through it, but it would kind of, like, hold up the hordes, even if it was like Seekers and stuff, if we built it out of explosive resistant concrete, they'd have to pound through just a, a couple of blocks before they get to us. That really might be something worth looking into and make it like three blocks high too, so that even when the bottom two are broken, 
the Seekers would still have to beat through the third one. Or maybe they would just crouch down. I'm not sure, but I'm going to brainstorm on that one for a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick proof of concept and switch them over to the other side. Just, just to... See what happens, basically. Watch him walk over here. Definitely a slow process. There's a lot of lag going on right now. Hey, level eight in my witch doctor class now. I forgot that I was working on that. Oh, good thing I did this anyway. So now I'm working on my attack assault rifle skill again. Always working on that. Ammo used to be damned. We'll get a little bit of ammo back from these uh, horde bags or loot bags. All right, looks like they're about to break through on this side, so I'm gonna switch them over back to the other side. Okay, switch them back over to this side. It's starting to run low on ammo, so I'm just alternating, like, basically melee. Was that a seeker that I just heard? Yeah, basically just melee until I run out of stamina and empty a mag, go back to melee, back and forth, back and forth. You know, interestingly, I think the last time we did the Screamer Horde, we weren't getting any bikers. I'm getting a ton of bikers now. Oh, look at that, my trade aura just went up. That's from skateboarder zombies, though. But uh, we could still continue to get our armor penetration aura up to kill a couple more bikers here. All right, but I am officially out of ammo, so I'm going to shut everything down. We're going to call it quits here. All right, the screamer signal is off. I've got a big stack of AP ammo. I'm heading outside to just get them all into the front of the base where hopefully my allies can just murder them all. We're definitely not out of the woods yet though. There's a lot of zombies left and a lot of screamers yet to scream. So the last time I did this, uh, so there were some people I guess that were very surprised that the zombies can't really target you that well. Well, that's because for one, these zombies are regular zombies. Uh, on Horde Night, you get a dumbed down AI version of the zombie so that it's easier for your system to handle, you know, 50, 60 zombies at a time. Uh, so that's one thing. We have complex AI zombies right now, and they just cannot do the calculation fast enough on the current Seven Days to Die engine. The other thing is that all the bodies are here on Horde Night. The bodies despawn after like two seconds, and on regular, it's like two minutes. So all of these bodies are laying everywhere. So that's why you get this like simplified, goofy, <laughs> like AI that just cannot keep up with you no matter what you do. It's like a bullfight. It, you know, as soon as they get to you, you move to a different location and they have no idea what happened. And see now, I think we're starting to get into a spot where there's fewer zombies and they are definitely running a lot better. Oh boy, gun is broken. Just make sure I got plenty of Red Bull and plenty of beer into me and see if I can get a little bit more melee in. Oh, I got ragdolled. Crap! This is not good. Ow! Okay, that thing I said about melee, not happening. Back to the AP rounds. Okay, we're getting toward the end. I can kind of feel it. Here we go. We got one more bow. Are you it? Couple more zombies running in. Probably just remnants of screamers. There's one screamer way off there. Yep, she's down. Okay, couple more trickling in here, but I think that we're good. Okay, so... My priority is going to be looking for explosive immune zombie hands. We're really any zombie hands. I'm just going to check all the bodies here. There's some explosive immune remains there. There's a couple more there. Good. Okay, got good coverage from our friends upstairs. There's some fire shock and explosive immune remains. I don't even know if I can craft anything with those. Shock immune. Oh yeah, all kinds of good stuff in here. Death's Whisper. Who is that? Hello? Um, oh, just a grudge. Are you kidding me? I've killed like a hundred of you tonight. Go ahead and just die there. Give me the goodies. Oh, a titanium war axe and a generic perk book that will almost, uh, or no, the generic DNA boost will almost certainly give us our charisma skill maxed out. Okay, she brought some friends with her. Oh, here they are. Oh my goodness, yes. Shake it, baby. And I just got my rampage for the last zombie here. Okay. Yeah, that definitely disrupted my flow there. I was working on explosive immune zombie remains, and uh, now I cannot do that. It's okay. I think uh, my, my primary purpose for all of that was mostly just uh, loot bags, just stocking back up on some of the essentials. Uh, real quick before we get started, I'm going to cook up one chili dog, which will give us loot quantity increased by 25%, and that should be plenty of time to get all the loot bags up. There it is, chili dog. Now we run, and we loot up all these bags before they start to disappear. Oh, you know what I'm finding? A ton of brass. Doorknobs, trophies, things like that, and we really need that. We were almost out in terms of ammo production. A couple of good weapons, first aid items, food. Yes, this is exactly what we needed. And a whole bunch more sellables, which will lead to money and weapon parts, which will lead to crafting new guns, which will lead to, you know, more things to sell for money to send people out mining. Yep, I think that was it right there. Just check the causeway up here. Okay, one more. 
Yep, that was it. Let's have a look at the loot haul then. Yep, like I said, sellables, brass objects, tons of food, recipes. Okay, impact bracing mod, we'll read that. And a couple of weapons. We've already found all those three weapons though. And that's it. And the experience. We got the Witch Doctor class up to level eight now, I think. Yeah, black magic is now level eight, which will mean my skeleton zombies are immune to explosives. Okay, so we still have not made the skeleton zombie yet. And our steel, um, wait, our, oh, the, like, the, the mind control arrows and stuff can turn radiated zombies to fight for us. And, oh, that's big. We can craft these skeleton army potions. Looking forward to seeing how that performs on Horde Knight. All right, give me a few minutes to get organized again, and we'll see what we're going to do for today. Yeah, I've been, I'm reorganized just in time for a seeker to arrive, so I'm heading out to do the big fight there. Not, hopefully, on my ramp. Oh, come on, Cajun. Get out of here with that. Breaking all my stuff. Well, thanks for the loot, though. Appreciate that. Aha, nice. Good stuff in there. Except for the magnum ammo. <laughs> Way too much magnum ammo. Whoops. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, it's like you get the same quantity, whether it's like magnum ammo or 762 ammo, even though all of the magnum weapons are like single fire <laughs> with like low magazine capacity. So it ends up being like super imbalanced. Look at the magnum ammo I have already, 1400. I just sold all of it yesterday. Okay, so we're looking pretty good on the sellables. There was this new ax that I found, so I will take a quick peek at this. This is, ooh, something I can use. What was this, titanium war ax? Yeah, man, this is probably from the soldier class. If I ever got to the point where I maxed out my class, I don't think that we'll get there in the next, um, what is it gonna be, 15 days? But uh, I would really like to go into the soldier class or maybe even the Builder, because the Builder has these awesome hammers. Ramsey's doing his playthrough right now on his channel. If you want to check that out, he's going to do the Techno Geek for his. So that's going to be batons, revolvers, turrets. Oh, it's going to be so bad because he's playing on worse settings than I am. So his hordes are going to be absolutely crazy. How did this happen? Who did that? Have you? Were, oh, were you guys shooting down here and, and you killed that block? That is unacceptable. I'm gonna blame Legion's Lost, because I heard you shooting the most last night. Oh, and we've got an airdrop, uh, looks like across the lake there. Ho hopefully not in the lake. Oh man, I just ate some, uh, steak and potatoes, I think it was. <laughs> Look at my jump height. My jump height is crazy now. It gives you plus 25% jump height, and I think you're immune to fall damage, too. I'm just gonna pop a faucet on the sink there, and speaking of faucets, I gotta get the shredders going downstairs. Turn all those doorknobs into brass. Oh yeah, but we're we're actually mostly short on clay soil, so probably time to go out and do a little bit of a mining run. Got plenty of fuel. While I'm gone, though, get the, the regular soldiers out, and, um, wait a minute. Okay, I gotta take a step back here because uh, we actually need to go find another mercenary and we're just we're just so close to being able to do that. Do I have... I don't have the injector anymore. I lost that during the fire. So I think Briston sells these. Nope, trainer's not selling them. Handy woman, do you have any? Uh, I saw the drone in there actually. And speaking of drone, have I lost my drone? Where's my drone? Nope. Uh, drone is right there. Oh, that's right. I didn't get enough of the polymer to, uh, to make the drone medic mod. Okay, I need to just, like, stop right real quick and make a shopping list, because we need clay, we need the injector, which, uh, he's currently not selling, so, because I was thinking we should get charisma up, then we should take the point into charismatic nature, then we should get a mercenary, uh, but that's, we're gonna have to do that the old-fashioned way. We're gonna have to do that through a quick quest, and then after we do said quick quest, West. There's the charismatic nature book that we're going to need. We're also going to need to get some polymer from whatever house we we go to to uh, do a quick like tier. We'll just do like a tier two mission. I think will be plenty to level up charismatic nature or charisma. And we'll stop by over here somewhere and just harvest up a bunch of clay. Okay, that's the plan then. Sorry, I got. There's a lot going on right now. A lot of little tiny chores. What happened over here? That's interesting. Okay, let's just go to Trader Wrecked. We gotta go into the temperate biome anyway. All right, here we are. Hey, what's up, Wrecked? Let's just get a, let's get like a tier three job. Tier threes are real quick. He's gonna fetch at a gun store. I think we've done that before, but I'll take it. Oh, I just saw something blow up down there. What the heck was that? 
<laughs> Some zombies. Oh, they're uh, it's a zombie fighting with a bandit down there. Oh, I totally just saw that bandit get ragdolled. Okay, yeah, let's not park in the parking lot just in case a vehicle spawns where my helicopter is and then said helicopter gets blown up. Over here is fine. All right, let's hit the quest and I'm pretty much here for everything. I'll, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day here. We'll do some clay mining on the way home and that should be good. We'll be all stocked back up on resources. It is, wow, you, this guy, it just put a flesh wound, right? <laughs> nice. Oh yes, explosive immune zombie. Give me your remains, please. And uh, your friend over there was one too. Let me out. Nice. I've got a hostile in sight. That means cyborg nearby. Here he is. Oh, it's Raven Dawn. Raven Dawn with the, oh. Hostile in sight. He's got a different hostile in sight, I guess. Okay, I can't go too far away. You guys wanna come inside? I'll help you out. Be happy to, in fact. Come on, get him down. There we go. Rogue cyborg. Take up all that junk. And Kane Eye Bright here. Good job. Okay, our expedition today starts with the vehicles. Give me all the vehicles. Oh my god, and a friggin' giant succulent. Or what are these called? Corpulence. <laughs> succulent. Yeah. Flower boy over here. <laughs> you know what I'm also short on of all things? It's cloth. Stupid cloth. I gotta start scrapping clothes again. I just noticed that a couple of hours ago. Oh my god, the, the roof just collapsed on my head. I didn't realize that was a thing. <laughs> Interesting, I'm just back here in the trailer uh, getting some of these boxes. Good source of polymer back here. And I won't say no to a little bit of extra free cement and cobblestone. So I'll grab this up and then we'll head inside. All right, we'll just head in through the front. Nothing special here. We've not only done this before, but you've probably been here a hundred times before as well. So we'll just blaze right through here. No big deal. Okay, after all, this only was a fetch quest, and that is done already. That did my charisma as well, so before I forget, I'm gonna run out here and grab my... Uh, what was a Charismatic Nature book and read that. Here we go, Charismatic Nature, read, and we are maxed out. So, tonight, probably, once we're done here, we should run into the wasteland and recruit ourselves our fourth companion. Okay, at this point, do I even need an axe with me? <laughs> and I probably don't need the shovel or the pickaxe. It could just be me, the auger, and the impact driver, and I'd probably be right as rain. Here, and I'm gonna take this with me, too. Yep, we need all the fireproof storages we can get. Oh man, I'm, I'm loving my heavy armor so much. Oh, see, these, look at these guys. What What is wrong with you? Why do you do that? Oh, I broke a leg. Look at that. Okay, we're in. Oh, we got a nice spear there. And yep, just take this with me. And can I just do that? Oh, yes, I can. Yeah, who needs other tools at this point? All right, tons of good loot out of here. Pretty much cleared the entire place out of all salvageable material. I think I'm definitely good on brass, so I, I really don't need to take things like radiators. Do I? I don't know. Every little bit helps. Okay, let's go back to the trader, get our reward. We'll head to the wasteland. We'll get a companion, hopefully. And then if there's any time left over in the night, we can just do a little bit of clay mining over here in the temperate area. I should have enough explosive immune zombie remains at this point to... Oh, hey. I didn't even know that was there. That's the uh, tier five poppin' pills factory. Love that place. Should have enough to get at least a few blocks made up of the explosive resistant concrete. I say immune, it's definitely not immune, uh, but that'll help us finish off the base. What you got for me, Wrecked? Of course, nothing good. I will take first aid, 762, and the pistol. Thank you. And that's it for you. Okay, to the wasteland. Whoop, just... <laughs> Wow, the tail rotor just completely took out that telephone pole. Oh no, heavy fog rolled in. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. It's much easier when you're in a ground-based vehicle. Oh, speaking of ground-based vehicle, we could just go fetch up the taxi. Okay, so how many floors is this place anyway? It's, it looks like one, two, three. It looks like 19. My goodness, we still had like four or five floors to go the last time we were here. Okay, search all of you. What I might just do is like, just leave the helicopter here temporarily. Come back for it in a little bit. We can do our clay mining here anyway and get a little bit of sand on top of that. So that will be the plan. Helicopter, stay here. I will take the taxi. In fact, while I'm at it, just kind of ditch whatever I have there. Look at the stuff we got to go through later. <laughs> oh boy. All right, just listen carefully for TAC Assault Rifle Fire, SMG, M60, AK-47. Really not going to be too picky on this last soldier. 
SMG fire. I would definitely take someone with an SMG. Anything full auto, basically, is fair game. Looks like a survivor, too. Okay, we gotta help him out then. Yes, yes it is. Okay, this is the guy. This is Neuro. Neuro, you wanna hold still for a second, buddy? Here, show me your qualifications. He is good enough, I guess. All right, come here. I'm interested in hiring. 2300, yes. Okay, good. Gotcha. Okay, I think we're just in the loop now. I was trying to be cute and like clear the area, but I don't really think it's worth it. Yeah, because these guys don't have the remains that we're looking for anyway. So all I'd be doing is farming cloth and whoa, Neuro. Try not to die here, buddy. Come here, take your painkillers and you should be on hunting mode, right? Hunting. Yeah, hunting mode, so don't go too far away. Where's my taxi? There it is. Yeah, buddy, stay over here. And here we go. That was close. <laughs> Almost lost the guy only moments after I hired him. Okay, I'm heading back to the desert now. I'll just do a little bit of topsoil mining to get some sand and clay. And oh, that's nice. Get my taxi stuck in this ditch here. With zombies coming. Oh, a lot of them too. All right, come on. Push it, push it, push it, guys. Burnt boy, put your back into it. Right, what I was saying, uh, you know, I'll get the helicopter, I'll do some mining, and I'll meet you back at the base first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.